Having a structured eating routine can be very helpful for most folks. By structure, I mean eating meals at roughly the same time most days, having typical meals and snacks you'd like to include, and not skipping meals. Having this routine is supportive, but it's also important to be able to be flexible when this routine is out of our hands. For example, when we get sick or injured, when we travel for work, or go out to dinner with friends. So a healthy approach to eating does require a balance between structure and flexibility. In this video, I'm going to focus on the flexibility piece, and here are some tips for building that into your approach. First, expect the unexpected. It's a given that there will be times you are thrown off your routine, whether it's work-related or in your personal life. Consider times this has happened in the past. What were some of the challenges? Did you end up somewhere without access to food and a long stretch between meals? Did you not have access to foods that you like? Learn from past experiences to help plan for the future. For example, keep non-perishable items like protein bars, jerky, or trail mix in easily accessible places like bags, purses, or the car so you can cover those unplanned gaps between meals. Next, do your research. If you are going out to dinner or on a vacation, check out the restaurants and what they offer. Have an idea of foods you might like to order. And if you are going somewhere that serves a special food that maybe isn't the most nutritious, but you really want to enjoy, decide when you would like to have it and focus more on portions and things like lean proteins and vegetables at other meals. Finally, forgive and learn. I can't stress the importance of this enough. Oftentimes, folks will go into a meal with every intention of avoiding certain things, no appetizers, no chips, no dessert, only to end up having them and feeling frustrated and ashamed. Remember, one meal does not determine your health or weight, but feeling badly about it can lead to throwing your hands up in the air and giving up on your goals of making changes, which is really where the bigger impact occurs. Instead, see what you can learn from it. Were you too hungry when you showed up? Did you have an alcoholic beverage and it lowered your inhibitions with food? Were you too strict in your goals for the meal? Being able to forgive yourself and move on is key. So I hope these are some helpful tips for finding flexibility in your structured routine. A reminder that this and many other nutrition-focused videos can be found on our health promotion website. Thanks for tuning in.